I hit the button. It's doing it again. There we go. Fuck! This thing is glitchy. You better fix that. You better edit it. That is that F word out. Oh, jeez. <laughs> hey, guys. Welcome to the Gig Economy Podcast, episode 178. Uh, thank you guys so much. Pete's like Jason's yelling already. I know. I hit the button. This happened last week, too, Pete. I hit the button, and it didn't do anything. It's like the stream deck had a delay or something. So, yeah, I'm already yelling. You'll get used to it, Larry. Yeah, you should be used to it. <laughs> Uh, so Jesper, where can people find this amazing uh, show? The the news, the everything, links and shit like that. GeekEconomyShow dot com. GeekEconomyShow dot com. Where you can also sign up for the newsletter. Which are they? Are we sending out newsletters again now? Um, maybe, maybe we'll see. <laughs> Just like I say every time. But you can get uh, an email each time the show drops in your uh, podcast. Yep. Play for. I hit the button and hello, mother podcasters. <laughs> Thanks, Tom. I don't know what that means, but um, yeah, you can uh, get a notification and maybe we'll do newsletters. But everything there at geekeconomyshow.com, we're starting to post a lot of news. So like anytime you're looking for news or you hear a story or whatever, it's probably on geekeconomyshow.com, right? And I think we have better ones than on uberlifthrivers.com. Uh, I'm not going to go with that at all. <laughs> uh, I'm going to keep. Uh, I'm gonna keep Steve on my good side because he's my buddy. Um, so uh, thanks, okay, uh, thanks okay. Walker. Appreciate the love. Um, so I would love for you to. Um, oh, I want to mention. Sorry, I'm an idiot. Mention our Patreon members: Larry from Bowling Green, Samson from Grand Rapids, Steve from Colorado, Bud Dickman from North Carolina, Omar from Detroit, Delivery Cats from Michigan, Jamie from Tennessee, Frank from Philly, Nate from Florida, the Seaman. John M. from California, uh, Tom from Chicago, and Jim from, we don't know. know where Jim is from. Jim, if you're out there, I love you. Well, I don't love you. I don't know you. Maybe I don't love where you. Where are you from, Jim? Where are you from? That's where we're now. How can people join the Patreon? They can go to patreon.com forward slash GeekyCon podcast. Good job. <laughs> And then they can sign up for the five or the ten dollar tier. Yep, the ten dollar tier gets you um, a bunch of perks. It gets you pre show banner. It gets you ad free of the show because we have ads on the show. And um, yeah, you don't if you don't want to listen to ads, join that. And then we do a try to do a recording a month. We did not do one in January, um, but we will try to get back on that. But yeah, uh, and the five dollar tier gets you the pre show banner. That's all you get, and that. The ten dollar tier after three months, which I own, John McCallion, a t shirt, you get a, a t shirt of our show. So get a t shirt. Yeah. I love this Walker comment. Like, I love new people. He says, Hello from the DoorDash Drivers of Michigan Group. Love seeing these podcasts. Keep it up. That's amazing. So we have been around for how many years now? Please? Our first episode was December of two thousand seventeen. That was the first episode i did by myself and then it's been pretty consistent other than a few breaks here and there for holidays but yeah that's yeah. crazy it's a lot of that fucking is crazy um last but before we jump into the news the telegram group uh join that i think we had somebody join and our good friend chris postumas uh welcomed him but he didn't respond back so that huh. is a group where you can connect with other gig workers around the country uh around the world actually um just talk it's like a water cooler for the office, but yep. it's for gig work. Um, it's a really go, f- fun community. Go to the App Store, download Telegram, Yep. Uh, sign up for it, and then when you're done with that, go into the link in the description on the, yep. in the show and join the group. Join the group, yeah. Join the group. Before we go into the news, I have something to share. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, this is going to be my last show. Yep. This is it for me. Um, it's been kind of on my, um, <laughs> what? Yep. No, it's true. Um, it's been, it's been something that's going on for a long time. Anybody who's been kind of following along, I had the opportunity to buy my company back in, um, July of last year. And I have not driven much at all since I've been out a couple of times. Um, but my focus has really changed and switched. And so, I must say that that I'm just not 
at, at this point in my life, my focus is not a gig. Um, and so I hate that I'm having to do this, but, but right now, uh, my focus has to be on my, uh, my day job. <laughs> yeah. Jason, don't cry. <laughs> I'm covering the camera. <laughs> Uh, right now, my, my focus has to be on my day job and um, growing that and kind of make that take that into the next step, which, I mean, Jason and I have had some pretty long discussions. It's not like this is that much work. It's not. I mean, it's really not. And a lot of these things run by themselves, but it's just as much that I don't get to be out and be a part of it anymore. Um, and And so I don't feel like I can call myself an expert, if you will, uh, when I'm not out there experiencing and being part of it. So it, it's those parts as well. Um, so right now, at this point in my life, I'm kind of stepping out, stepping away. Uh, am I going to come back? I don't know. Probably no, not. Probably not. No, I don't want to lead anyone no, on. I, no, no, that's true. Probably not. I mean, we of but, course, uh, you know, he would always be welcome back in some sort of capacity, you know. Um, but yeah, I... Uh, I don't want to lead people on, no. um, you know, and I'm okay with it. Um, I mean, I know it's been, it's been a long time coming. I'm not saying you were like slacking, but like, no, no. and we talked about how you could still stay engaged with, without doing gig work. But then I, I think it's a good decision to, to, to stop because, um, you got to kind of be out there at least what? a little bit. And if you just don't, I mean, it's okay if you don't want to, it's not like you don't have the time. You've just, decided At you need to put your time in other things in right. your life not just the business uh it, it, it it's you know family it's yep. relationships outside of that those kind of things there's lots um, of things going into it there is yeah um and and the decision has been made that uh, so at the same time as we bought the business my wife is come full blown she's uh, she's uh, uh my partner she's my partner in the business as well and so it's become our decision that we want to put all our cards in that basket yeah. right now. Yeah. Um, and so so that's what we are doing. We are we are kind of putting all our efforts into that one right now. And we want to try and grow it to something that can can become our retirement. Yeah. So, no. so that's what we're doing. It's totally uh I totally am okay with it. Um it's just been, man, we've done a lot of shit together. <laughs> we have done a lot of shit together. Absolutely. I mean, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm so glad that you, you stuck with it. And, oh, uh, I can't believe it's been six years, right? Yeah. You I were mean, just saying six years. It's yeah. crazy. Yeah. And the, the show has evolved quite a bit. I mean, when we first started out, it was me and Ben. And then Ben somehow convinced you to come on the show. And then it was us three for a while. Then mm -hmm. it was some other guy. Uh, then it was, uh, who was after that? Then it was Samantha for a while, uh, but then then it was Pete, who's in the chat right now, and then Pete was done, and then I think it was just you and I, right after that. Like we, Sam was yep. done, then Pete was done, and then I think it was just you and me. We had yep, it was for, just us, yep, probably for the last two years. So yep, well, uh, Pete, you know how to get a hold of me, man. We, I, I'm I'm very open to have beers. <laughs> He, you know? He's looking for anyone that's a 1099. That's the route they're going now. Right, right now, <laughs> at least while, while we're building trust, we need 1099. Yeah. So, I mean, we have we have one full time employee. I don't, I don't want to get into that. Right yeah, now, but we have we 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 need people. Right, but uh, but yes, yeah. So so that's what we're going on right now, and and obviously we'll continue to be supporting the the. I mean, I'll still be supporting at some point in in the background. So uh, honest, we'll figure that out. honestly, I think um, Jesper should just join the Patreon at this point. You know, spend your ten dollars on this, even though you're not going to listen to anything. <laughs> um, so moving forward, uh, I have asked Larry. Lifting with Larry, everyone knows Larry. If you are part of the community, yep. Uh, Larry is Ben, a Patreon member for so long. I I think I was in there the other day, and he's been like he spent six hundred dollars on Patreon for the life. <laughs> <laughs> that he's been in there so like he goes way back he's been to every picnic uh he has been a podcaster in the past he's guest hosted on the show and i think it's a good fit and i asked yep. him and he was super stoked to do it so uh i don't think i could do this show solo i just i think i could do it but it wouldn't be the same no no no, no. it it requires that back and forth yeah that back and forth so yep. so larry is not going to move to granville he's but not 
he I thought that was what he decided on. No, <laughs> no. I mean, if we want to try to uh, run that through the business to get him a house up here, <laughs> he's not going to sleep in my basement. That's just weird. But um, Moving costs, not yet. Yeah, not yet. <laughs> so I'm excited to have Larry. I mean, we plan on having him next week uh, right away. We're not going to we're not going to skip a show or anything like that. Yep. And I'm sure you'll see some some changes i uh, i mean it's it's a good time to refresh some things i have some ideas batting around in my head i don't know next what next week it'll be the larry and jason show and yes we'll be gone gone yeah. gone it'll be like n- n- uh, yeah we gotta be, sc- yes but who yeah <laughs> scrub that fucker from the internet let's go isn't there a service for that <laughs> so so yeah there's no hard feelings at all obviously we've we've talked about it we've known about it for a while but uh yeah, I'm I'm happy for you. Um, him and I have already committed to a once a month beer date, uh, so we're gonna. If, if anybody wants an invitation to the once a month beer date, let I us mean, know. I mean, you're not gonna get inv- invited all the time, but you know. Yeah, yep. yeah, fuck yeah. Let's get more the merrier for sure. Absolutely. So, anything else? You think you're good? I think that's it. Okay. That's it. I'm gonna wipe wipe my tears here. Yeah, come on. Do you need a tissue? No, I'm good. All right. <laughs> All right, so this is going to be kind of a, uh, I don't know, there wasn't shit for news. And I know Steve, Steve talks about all the the crap going on. I can't even follow it. So we're not even going to, I don't even think we have anything in here about like the rules, the whatever's changing. I'm just like, I'm just going to go do gig work and talk about <laughs> funny shit. That's what we do. Go and talk about funny shit. So the first thing up here, um, which so I didn't even understand this one. I just posted it. So you do Yeah, it. so- um, basically what this is, is this is what we've talked about with these, the government changing. Even we are going to talk about the rules. You can't go on whenever you want. That's what's happening. So they've made that minimum wage and stuff like that. There's only a certain amount of drivers they're allowing on the platform. In so, Manhattan. Yeah. So yep. he's got to go out somewhere else. So this is what's going to happen. That's why I didn't want, you know, the, the benefits and all that other stuff, because he can't go online. He's got to find somewhere else. So that is right. one reason that I always complain from the beginning, even before now. I don't think it's happened in California, but I think it's slowly going to happen in some of these markets that they're yep. going to limit you. It's not a demand isn't high enough yeah, here. It's yep. it's almost like DoorDash. You know, DoorDash yep. has always done that though, but Uber you could always turn the Uber app on. Oh, I know. So I don't think we'll ever see it here, but like these, this when the government gets involved and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, so Gary, we have said this would happen long ago. I know we've been talking about this for at least two years so um, but that's the only way they can control it though if they if they want to have a minimum minimum uh, you know rate on all yeah. that stuff they they have to control yeah, they how can't, many drivers they online. can't have no two hundred thousand drivers you on there can't getting paid have it, you can't minimum have it both wage. ways yeah totally so can't have it both ways i i hope it doesn't happen in uh here i mean well i don't know what's gonna happen in california but seattle's kind of can i just put this in what i don't care <laughs> Now we can't have that attitude. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. You, you got to put in one I'm last show. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm oh, kidding. hey, Jim. Jim from Connecticut. Hey, he's probably gonna quit now. You're the you're the star of the show. <laughs> no, he's gonna stay on. <laughs> I like his username, Jimothy. Jimothy. <laughs> hey, man, thanks so much for uh, chiming in. I don't think we've ever had a. Well, I'm sure we've had listeners in Connecticut, but not anyone that we've connected with. So. <laughs> Awesome. Lo- thank you, Jimmy. Thank you for bring, uh, saying that. Yeah. All right, Jesper. I know. Sorry. Point. I just jumped. I didn't even transition, did I? I was I like, was let's go, idiot. <laughs> so this one here is, this story is about a uh, Uber driver who, uh, oh, yeah. This story is so in crazy dumb. I did watch the video. I was going to pull it, but it, there's nothing spectacular. No, I did, she just I, complains. I didn't even watch the video. Oh. Well, I did, but I read, <laughs> I read the story. So woman says Uber driver took her back home after she asked for music to be turned down. And, and we, I mean, again, we've seen this, uh, this type of story many times before. So basically, she gets picked up. I'm assuming it's in the morning. She has to get be dropped off at the airport. And... She gets she gets in the car and apparently it's like blazingly loud in the car. She asks the driver to to turn down the music. Yeah. And he turns it down one knot. Right? Yeah. And then she's like, Ah, it's still too loud. So she's like, Can you turn it down again? And he just goes, I'm just gonna drive you back home. Oh wow. Right? Okay. <laughs> and to which she goes, uh, okay. 
and she goes, and then so now she has to tell him again where she lives. Yeah. And, and well, that, yeah, because he's got to turn so, around. Yeah, and, yeah. Yeah. Because he's not. He just doesn't want to like deal with her negative attitude or whatever. Yeah. And so he he ends up taking her back home because he she tells him the ad. She misses her flight. Yeah. And all these BS things, even though she ordered a. She ordered a uh, a quiet mode ride, which you yeah can, yeah you know, I n- I noticed that she ordered a comfort. You have you get you get yeah. temperature and like and, that and stuff. So apparently he didn't even give a shit about any of that, right? <laughs> and he just give whatever he did whatever he wanted to do, and so she lost her ride and everything. And and so again, it's really just a normal story. We've heard it many times before. Just if you want to do comfort, just follow the rules. Well, even just don't be a like even without comfort. Don't like, be a dick, right? Why are we why are we doing this? I I can understand not changing the channel, but I can understand turning it down to almost nothing. Like I'm in you're in the car for ten minutes. Like I don't if you don't want to hear the music, fine, I'll turn it off. But but here's the thing though, you you're agreeing to drive comfort. Well, yeah, if it's a comfort, that's different. Well, I'm absolutely. just saying in a regular act. But it must have been because it, she says she ordered quiet. Not everybody knows the, the term comfort. So I'm sure they in for the for the article they they went they changed it to quiet ride. Oh, got you. Right. So cuz otherwise, otherwise you don't understand it. So he obviously on he obvious she ordered comfort quiet. There's yeah. no doubt that's what she did. Yeah. And he he agreed to offer up a, a comfort ride. He needs to follow the rules and the story. I mean, it's not really a rule per se, is it? I mean, are you required to do what? Absolutely you really? are. Really? Yeah. Otherwise, mm. he, he, she should give him the less stars and report it. Well, at least he didn't drop her off at the curb and he brought her back home. I was fully, ex- if you're that much of a dick, you would think he would be like, all right, get out of the car then. Well, and so she, she goes and she says she felt unsafe, which is why oh. she she he she followed him and said, let him let him take him home. Okay. And that kind of stuff. I, there's no way I would have given him my address again. It's like, no, I'm you're not going to Yeah, gonna I take think I would have been like, unless no, it was like on you're the just highway. Take, you're just going to take me to the airport, buddy, right now. Yeah. I mean, this is so, it, this whole thing is just weird. I often wonder if we're ever going to get to a point where they just, like we've always talked about like the ghetto Uber, like the right. a, like the junky cars or whatever, just get me from A to B. I wish there was more like I, I understand I, I'm a comfort and yours is a comfort too, but I think it needs to be a next level than that. Like it's like Uber X and comfort in our area. That's it. You know what I mean? I just feel like I feel like my car should be more than comfort. Like the pay is not that much more, I guess. What I'm trying to say is I wish the pay difference was a little bit bigger. Because it's right. a nicer car, it's a brand new car. You have a payment, a giant payment on it, you know those kind of things. So it's like, it, and you don't really get paid. What maybe maybe ten percent more, maybe fifteen percent. Right. So I mean, we have a we have a story later talking about. Um, I think they call them green Uber. Or yeah, something that's like my that. story next. And and so <laughs> we don't have those in our market. So obviously, but I think your car could be that because it's an EV. So that's what that's what that term is. And so I think it just means that they must be determining that some markets can only have these types of cars, these types of rides. Well, I don't understand why. Why can't they have Uber Black everywhere? No, I understand. I, I agree. Mean, I agree. Why? Why not? But again, and this is my ignorance with like coding and all that. I'm like, do we do we have to do something special in Grand Rapids? Can't we just put Uber Black on the platform and? Well, I mean, it must be Uber that's determining that well, Uber Black course. isn't going to. The matter. demand is probably not there because right. you know we're Dutch Hollanders over here. No one wants to pay it. Although I, I feel like the last Friday I drove last week Friday, I did ten rides. I think eight of them were Comfort. I don't know if no Comfort was out, but like I was, I was not filtering X out, but I was just like Comfort. I'm like, all right, let's go. It's when I when I drove a lot. Uh, comfort was the new. Like middle of the road. Yeah, there was like people didn't want to pay for XL, but they want they would pay the little extra for the comfort. Oh, I sp- speaking of that it triggered a story. I didn't have any stories from driving. I, I go to get an airport ride that night. Now, mind you, it's a comfort ride, right? And it was good. It was from the airport to downtown is twenty five dollars. I don't know why. Like, remember, like I, it's, that's what a comfort is. Yeah, I don't know. That just still seems oh, a little I, high. I I know. Is that, that normal price yeah. for that? Okay. Yeah. But anyways, he's like, he he messes me. He's like, yeah, uh, do you have enough room for a ski bag? Like the long ski? I'm like, I wrote, nope. And he canceled. I'm like, 
Order. I should have said order an XL. My car is is a comfort, but it's not an XL. There's a lot of cars out there that are comfort that aren't XLs. Oh yeah, yeah. I cannot fit. I don't no, I don't even think the back would close. <laughs> it's just it's a smaller car, but I'm like, you dumbass. I, I'll let you scratch up my roof. How's that? Yeah. <laughs> I don't even have a roof rack. No, you ain't putting that shit on there. <laughs> I mean if it was the old pilot, I'm like, yeah, we'll figure it out. You know what I mean? But I'm trying to keep this thing somewhat clean before it gets destroyed. <laughs> so um Gary says my SUV is Comfort and XL, but really it should not be an XL. <laughs> what is it? Is it a Buick? I bet it's a Buick. Because those Buicks are small XLs. Yep. No, I, I don't think it's a Buick. But anyways, all right. So Uber Green, we're jumping in this. I I I uh, I looked over this. I'm like, what the fuck is the advantage for the customer? Is it cheaper? An Outlander? Is that Nissan? I don't know. Nissan. Did Outlander. you put the picture up? Oh, is there a picture? I don't think there's a picture, is there? There, there? there was only a picture. Oh, sorry. I'm a dumbass. <laughs> well, I don't know why we... I, I didn't understand this picture. Did I share this picture? It was in the group. So so it, it's a ride, So, but it's three, it's 180 miles, right? So, again, I put it in there because, again, it was it's another one of the, the long rides, but for some reason, it's a long trip, but it's an Uber green. And so it was just another one of those things. Like, why are we? I mean, a so we have all these many designations that we don't have in all the markets at all. And I don't under, again. I looked up what Uber Green was. I know I'm on so, the page. It, there's so it's it's an EV designation of of Uber's vehicles. You can choose in some markets. You can choose to just get if, if you want to have an electric vehicles. Uh, apparently, if you want to have a lesser footprint or whatever. Yeah. Um, so there's really no advantage for the rider. They're not like getting a discount or anything, right? Well, no, but I would assume that they cost a little bit more. Oh well, yeah, they got to cover the the big old dollar they're giving me for driving it. <laughs> yeah, but why isn't there? See, that's another thing too. Like, why isn't there an Uber Green here? There's literally no reason why it shouldn't be there. So I I don't understand it. But still, same thing though. That I mean, would you take this ride? Uh, hold on, I gotta get this. To, oh, I need to look at it. Well, no, I wouldn't take that ride. I mean, it's not. It's $150, but it's seven hours. Oh God, no, yeah, because it's a three hours back and forth. Yeah, no. What would a this have been back in the day, like before upfront pricing? You think that would have been a two hundred and fifty dollar? It would have been at least a dollar and a quarter a mile, if not a dollar and a half. I don't know. Yeah, don't that's know. that's horseshit. But I mean, this is one of those rides you call ahead and you say, "I need an extra two hundred dollars yeah. in cash." Yeah, yeah. I don't under I don't understand. Um, it's probably just a PR stunt for Uber for the Uber Green to try to be more. And they yeah. do talk about in the article that says, like, helping drivers go electric. Drivers are leading the way toward a greener future, and Uber is committed to supporting them. Our green future program is provide access to resources valued at $800 million to help hundreds and thousands of drivers transition to battery EVs by 2025. Um, so Janet is saying that it's a, that it's a disadvantage to those like her because, uh, obviously, uh, uh, she's from New Zealand, so they use petrol. Petrol uh, is being offered after green rights, so they are offering green rights first and then petrol rights. I I didn't I, know that. I how does she know that though? I don't know. Like how how do you know that you're not getting offered the ride? I, I'd be curious. That how does she know that? Yeah, it just doesn't see. So she says the Uber Green has been there for over ten months. Yeah. Um. So is that maybe that maybe there's only something that's active in 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 um, in. Uh, New Zealand, I don't know. No, it's here in the states. I mean, I'm sure it's in the big cities, but I guess I I don't see the the advantage other than like you being like socially conscious or whatever the word is. Um, interesting. Yeah, I know you. I mean, I I like that they're giving me a, an extra dollar. I mean, it does add up. I mean, but it's just I wish the you know going back to the comfort thing. I just wish there was more different like. Honestly, if if an an X ride could be as good as a Comfort, depending on the location, to me, you know what I mean. It's not like I would always take a Comfort, regardless. There have been some. They try to send me like mm -hmm. so far away for those Comforts because I don't know. Maybe that day I was the only one on, but I just wish there was more. Like I think it, I wish it was like thirty percent more pay on the Comfort. But anyways, Janet, have you done any um, 
gas calculations yet on how much you've saved? No, oh God, no. I should though. I should take, I, uh, I should take the mileage I did last year and do it with the gas. Even though I got the car in July, I, I'd probably use the same amount and just see how much. I mean, it's got to be thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. I mean, I was getting seventeen miles to the gallon. I mean, I filled that thing up every other day, and it would cost me fifty bucks to fill up. I think I think I spent fifty dollars the month of January on electricity for that thing, for the whole month, and that fucking SUV cost me fifty dollars per time to fill it up. I know it's an insane amount of money, um, but and there was even so so even even because of the snow and whatever, you still you still produced your your. Oh, that didn't do that didn't do fucking shit. That, that has nothing to do with it. that. Does not come into the equation. I'm just saying gas versus electricity. Yeah, my payment's five hundred and fucking seventy five dollars a month. That's because the interest rate is insane. No, no, I know, but you're still. I mean, but it's well, you can't bring the solar into it. That has nothing to do with it. That's not really saving. That that's just an an advantage to have it. But like in the winter time, like I'm not producing anything. It's been a rough, cloudy winter so far. Hmm. But but I mean. I guess to put it in perspective, fifty dollars uh, for the entire month, or right. fifty dollars every other day. If I was gigging, now it would have been—I I should say—it would have been more than fifty dollars a month if I was gigging like yeah, hardcore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's still a, still a no-brainer to me. I don't know why people don't do EVs. They're all like, "Oh, they're going away. They're not making." <laughs> going away. I know. I I listen to some podcast. <laughs> I listen to some fighter podcasts and they're f- super right winged, you know what I mean? Which is totally <laughs> fine, but they're like, yeah, fuck those EVs. Ford stopped making them. Da da da, stop making them. And I was like, yeah, okay, they're not going away. <laughs> they may slow down a little bit. That one killed you, huh? <laughs> I'm they're serious. Going away. If you listen to some of these podcasts, they're just like, they're going away. EVs are not going away. I, know. They're, they're, I mean, I'm sorry to say, guys, but. Gas cars are going to go away. Yeah, I mean, yeah, they g- might take fifty years, but they'll be gone. I mean, didn't didn't the go- uh, President Biden say by twenty thirty he wanted like half the cars to be electric? Well, it's nice for him to want that. It's well, not going to happen. It's but- not going to happen. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, not gonna happen. it's gonna, I think it's going to take enough. It's going to take 10, 15, 20 years. I but- wish they would just. I mean. In all honesty, I wish they would just push the hybrids. I think a hybrid is a great or or the electric for fifty miles than the hybrid. Why are they pushing just EVs? EV worked for me because it just it just did. But the problem is the hybrid still has all the problem with the battery. Well, no, that. What do you mean? You still you still have to put a battery in a hybrid. You still well, have- no, I think I think the advantage of an EV is like I literally looked at my maintenance the other day. It's four items for the entire life of the car, and one's at a hundred thousand, and one's at like seven years. Right. That's that's the maintenance on it. There's literally no other maintenance. I think that's the advantage of EV with a hybrid. You still have gas. You still have oil changes. You still have transmission fluid changes. You still have all that. But I think I think in the long run, I I I definitely think that. A hybrid is a. I know he's trying to get political. We're and not getting no, political, Steve. We're not getting political. The funny part. No, I'm not going to say it. I'm going to say that off the air. With I'll I'll yell at him about it. Um, but um, but I just think a hybrid is better for a family that oh. it, it, I. You still use gas, but you save a lot on gas. And if you do the electric, I mean, how many? Think about you. You have a gas van. How many miles a week do you put on that thing? Right now, not much. Well, I just almost spit. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. Like I should have drank and then. That, but that's what I'm saying. If you had the electric for 50 miles, you'd never use gas. You'd oh, yeah. never. No. You'd no. have to probably put some stabilizer in your tank because it would sit in there so long. Right. That's why I think it's a good fit for people that don't do long trips or travel a lot. Like oh, yeah. a, a mom bumming around town, picking up kids, running errands, and then she gets home and plugs it in for 50 miles. So. No, oh, absolutely. Yeah. No, it, it's a fine fit. And, and yeah, I need it. Somebody needs to come do an EV show with me because every fucking show the last three months we talk. About- I'm sure our next vehicle is going to be an EV. Yeah. I think but so. I mean, that brand, the, the, the cars we have right now are both new, right? So we yeah. just releasing one. We bought one. And so it'll be 10 well, years unfortunately, before we have, uh, buy another one. Yeah. Unfortunately, the EVs aren't cheap. The Chevy Bolt was the cheapest. I mean, that was, that was cheap. I mean, I looked Honda's coming out with one this year. It starts. 
at forty seven thousand dollars. Like right. that's not it's that's not, not affordable. No, 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 I would definitely buy a used one and it would be a lot cheaper, but well, and, it, and again, it's still because we need more. We need more into the battery. They need to research. They need to to yeah. keep working on the battery. Yeah, we're we're definitely the fuel uh, cell sensor technology. We're we're definitely in a in the in the infancy of the technology right. with these cars. I mean, I got on it way early just because you know I've always wanted one, and why not? You know, I think it was affordable price. But all right, let's move on. Let's move on. Wade says hybrid is better for the environment short and long term. I mean, I think what he's talking about is uh, my battery or the batteries when they're dead, where do they go? It's probably because. But but again, I don't know a ton about cars, but the, I, mean, I don't what, either. What they're all saying is, I mean, the big the big bad part, if you will, about a a, a EV is that the footprint of a, of an EV is to if the bat is the battery. Right. Yeah. It's the production of the battery. Yeah, it's the mining of whatever right. that is. But don't you have the same amount that goes into an EV as it goes into a hybrid? Isn't it? No, the same? because it's not as much battery. It's not that there's a lot more battery in an EV than there is a hybrid. Oh. It's not like just a twelve volt battery. Well, I understand, but <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. But but it's just it's a pretty big battery that goes in a hybrid too, though, right? Yeah, but not like I mean, think about the um that's what I'm trying to say is the big the the Tesla dumb truck, whatever that ugly thing is. I mean, that thing is cyber truck. Yeah, yeah. It has so many batteries in it. Yeah. Like that. It's it's a way bigger footprint. I, and I can see that. I didn't I did it. See. I didn't do it for the environment. I just want you all know. I just didn't want to pay gas anymore. <laughs> no, yours were, yours, were, yours were purely selfish. hundred <laughs> percent. Jamie's got a Corolla hybrid. I didn't even know they made it. I thought they they stopped at the, the Camry. Dang. When the batteries die, too, they go to battery hell. Well, wait, you can't say a smaller battery, a smaller footprint. Okay, I get you that. And they stay on the load, ro- load, the load longer, the road longer. We don't know because EVs haven't been out that long. My Chevy could last for, for 20 years. We don't know. I doubt it. Well, but a hybrid can stay on the road longer because when you run out of battery, the motor stops, right? So that's the problem. So. Yeah. No, yeah, that's right. If you're bad, if you got to put a new battery in it, I mean, right, 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 right. yeah, yeah, we skipped right past the hybrid. I don't think we skipped by it. I think the hybrids were out there, but no one focused on them. The, the you know, the government just like, oh, we're not even going to talk about hybrids. Like, why? I, I let, let's let's ease into the EVs. Let's start with hybrids. Do those for 10, 15, 20 years. Master those and then go into EV. By, and then during those 20 years, fucking work on the grid. Like Steve said, like, the you know, the other thing that I think is interesting is that um, California is one of the states that's pushing the EVs yeah, the most. The right? most, and guess what? California is one of the ones that has the worst electricity. Uh, grid. Oh yeah, well they don't have the they they. That, that, there's too many people there. I know that grid is the, is in the worst shape. Why the hell are they pushing EVs like that? No, are? Texas grid is in the worst shape <laughs> oh, maybe. than California. But it's like they shouldn't they should not be pushing EVs like they are. Well, that's because that lovely governor over there. All right, let's move on. I'm tired uh, of this. Tired can I of- can I clip this and start an EV podcast just from this part? Like <laughs> it's our trailer. I would listen to it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I think you're up. We're talking about some guy that um Dr. the DC rabbi. Again, this is just another negative story, if you will. So basically, this is uh, I, I don't know why I got all the stories about the um you were ne- the show neg- plan neg- neg- negativity. That's because you don't want to do anything. I <laughs> oh yeah, that's it. <laughs> so this story uh is from the Washington Post. The, the DC rabbi who was attacked by a Lyft driver who didn't like his energy. A prominent young Washington rabbi says he was in a cab home for morning prayers Sunday when he was kicked out of the car and violently attacked by the driver. He was not able to give any reason other than my energy, uh, Menachem Shemtov. Wow, that was pretty good. Killed that name, but sorry about that. The 29-year-old leader of Chabad, uh, Georgetown, said in an interview Sunday afternoon as he headed to an urgent care facility to treat the cuts on his face. Basically... He was on the way home, and he had just asked him to um, turn down the music a little bit. 
again, uh, just like earlier, it's something about music. Well, what is going on with the music, <laughs> people? Calm down. I know. Um, let's see here. Uh, and then basically, ooh. Looks like he made a passive-aggressive comment how he should have took a quiet car next time. It, exactly. Yeah. 20 seconds later, he said, get out of my car. When Chem Top asked why, he said the driver replied, I replied, I don't like your energy. Your energy is kind of off offending me. After Chem Top got out, video shows the driver following him on foot and yelling at him for slamming the car door, which apparently he did not. He didn't punch Chem Top in the face. When the rabbi moved to take pictures of the car, the driver followed him and slapped him repeatedly with the keys, mm. leaving cuts across his face. Of course, he was deactivated. Yeah. God, so why... Are- why are people just being idiots? I don't understand. I mean, and, and obviously this, the story, the article almost makes it into a hate crime, right? Which I, I mean, I don't think it is. Well, no, because but, the guy probably didn't know he was a rabbi. No, like, it's not. I mean, they they focus on those things. I don't think this is nah. like, has anything to do with it. But, but yeah, people need to like calm down. I I mean, honestly, like let's be honest though. It's it's a low bar to be an Uber driver. Right. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not cutting on anybody by any means, but um, yeah, that would have been a good spot to show the video you cut earlier. <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> I know. We should just fucking play that one. There you go. Do you have it? Uh, I can bring it up. You want to? I didn't really. Um, this next article, I was joking about a free Uber service, but Bellevue has gone and done it. Uh, what is this? I kind of missed this. I'm sorry. In a recent column while riding the empty ghost trams of the Seattle streetcar, I noted that one in South Lake Union has cost the taxpayer more than $20 per ride. God, be cheaper for the city for, uh, to pay me for to hire an Uber, blah, blah, blah. Let's see. A company called Circuit has been contracted to run a fleet of eight all-electric shuttles. Oh, fucking electric. Why are we going electric? Those fucking people that want EVs. Uh, electric shuttles downtown, around downtown portion of Bellevue. You can summon any of the shuttles with an app and ride them anywhere with a six six square miles. That's pretty good. Uh, the service is paid for by by the hotel tax. See, finally, something good with that damn tax. And you go to check out, you're like, oh, this is an affordable hotel. Oh, it's a $300 tax. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. I, I kind of like that. I, don't, I would not dare ride our bus system in Grand Rapids. I think I would get shanked. Like, the dash <laughs> is free, so you know you got every homeless person and degenerate on there. I like I, I I think we need again we need a cl- a classier bus system. You got you know you got your A to B. I I'm underprivileged. I just need a ride, and then you got like a bus system where like you know pay a little bit more and it's classy. But then, but then what? Well, you you're encouraging the class system. Well, not really. Yes, you are. Not really. I mean. But it's such a nice little thing. I don't know. I shouldn't. I shouldn't say that. But but it's a, we already have the class system. No, I know. I know. But you. In- I have a poor man's EV, and someone else has a Tesla. You know what I mean? Like that's a class system. I understand. But but that's what it is. It's essentially just making that gap. Because they can't afford it. Right. And it, and if it being public transportation, it kind of looks bad that you're like having something that might not be affordable for everyone. Right. I get it. I get it. But but, but you also right. It shouldn't be that people, you know, upstanding citizens shouldn't be scared. That's the problem. To, to, to drive on the free service. Well, I think this is more unique because I like this because you could almost do bar hopping with this. You know what I mean? Park right. somewhere and then they take you around and you can drink. And it looks, it's kind of a cool car. I don't, I know right. it's, a, it's a circuit or something. I don't know that maybe that was the brand of um, circuit vehicles, but I don't know. I kind of like the it, idea. I don't know. It's not a bad idea. Yeah. It's not a bad idea. I actually think that there is something almost like it in Grand Abbots. You can. Um, we talked about it. You, I don't know if it's live yet. Is it? Uh, well, so they they have those little cars you can call, and they'll they'll they're self driving. You can kind of um, they'll take you around. Yeah. Let me. Uh, um, let me f- fill the air with something. Tell us, tell us something about fill the air. Well, so I can, I can, I can, I guess I can repeat. Well, if there's anybody who is new to the show that uh, joined last 10, 15 minutes, I will just repeat and say, this is my last show. <laughs> if you're new to the show, 
I feel bad well, for uh, yeah. Jim, our new uh, yeah. <laughs> our new Patreon. He probably liked you, and he's like, ah, fuck, Jason. I'm yeah. out of here. <laughs> I was like, no way. I'm not dealing with that so, dick. No, 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 no. But again, please keep supporting it. It's a great show, uh, and, and do come to the picnic next year. Oh God! I gotta, I gotta do the picnic. I gotta plan the picnic myself. Larry's not gonna be here to help me. Oh no! He'll come, you know. Well, he'll come, but I, I gotta do all the the fucking legwork up here. He just gets to reap, uh. reap the rewards. Okay, so this is interesting. I, I, I got it downloaded. Uh, a driver talking about Uber. I don't know who the who was interviewing him. I have no idea the context, but we'll play it and then talk about it. Do you drive uh, for Uber full-time or part-time? Uh, full-time. And how much money can you make a month? Three to four thousand. That's after all your expenses? Uh-huh. Do you have health insurance? No. Nothing. Anything. You don't have nothing here. Okay. So everything is out of pocket? Exactly. If you, if you come up like 11, 12 hours, you can go with like $100, $150 a day. What's the biggest challenge when driving for Uber? Uh, it's the one thing that you don't like. The, that's the money, you know? It's unpredictable. It's not working. In the in the beginning, he talks about he makes three or four thousand after expenses, and then at the end, he's like, "It's not worth it." I I, I don't even understand that guy. Um, but I think that's kind of a guy that wants benefits and all that. I'm like, I this know. is not that job. If you want all that, go no. drive for a limo company exactly. and make an hourly wage. Yeah. Yep. 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 So, John, don't even start. <laughs> John is the if you're in the telegram group John's like an OG too he's been in there God from the beginning yep. um, and he always gives me shit and he's like oh great show again yes bro you were the best that's what he says all the time <laughs> he fucking shits on me <laughs> uh... but anyways no I mean it's just frustrating that that guy like I don't know I'm just like but again but three to four thousand dollars again depending on his market three to four thousand dollars a month is not bad no, after expenses? No. That's and then not. he talks about, yeah, you have to drive. T- I mean, it was a little hard to understand, but 10 to 12 hours a day, you make $100, $150. Like, that's not $4,000 a month. No. So he was, he was talking out of both sides of his mouth. So I I don't right. I don't really understand that at all. <laughs> exactly. But, um, yeah, I mean, it's 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 a 1099 thing. The, the earnings are unpredictable. They're just kind of like... Um, you know, being a realtor, like sometimes it's going to be busy. Sometimes it's going to be slow. You're just going to have to plan for that. Just plan for it. Plan yep. for it. So. Absolutely. Uh, real quick, Gary's apps from Middleton Tech. Uh, he has Maximo, Driver Utility Helper, and Flex Alert. Uh, driver Utility Helper is hard to say, or you can say, duh. Uh, that is duh. for DoorDash. It helps you uh, decline do all the things for you. you can set parameters what kind of money you'll take and then maximo is the other one that does for grub i never really got a good explanation why he can't put those two products together it's i know it's something and he'll probably code nerd it out for me and tell me but the other one's maximo that's uber lyft grubhub i think that's it. I'm, I'm sure there's more but again ex- uh set up param- parameters how you want it helps you make more money it helps you not touch your phone as much um, you can set it up like, hey, I only want to go seven minutes away or six minutes away. And then when those rides come in outside of those parameters, it just declines them. Right. Or you can auto accept. I don't know why you'd want to auto accept. He has that feature on there. I never use it. I want to make the choice myself. I even set up a little bit of a delay. So the ride pops up, gives me like mm, seven to 10 seconds. And then so I can be like, eh, it's fucking slow. I'm going to take this. You know what I mean? <laughs> right. And then if I don't, it just declines it for me and it moves on. So, go. And even when you get to try to put in timeout when they sign you offline, the, the app will put you back online. You don't have to touch your phone for anything. Nice. Yeah, it's amazing. So. Check Gary's apps out. The link is in uh, the description. The description. All right. Yes, we're, uh, where are we at? 47. Instacart Rewards. So this is a weird article, and I'm not entirely sure I understand what's going on. But basically, this <laughs> we'll, is- We'll give it a try. We'll give it a try. So it's a new market, a new app- I think it. I think it is. It, I think it's markets, for, for customers. I don't know if it's no. For, it is. It's for oh. customers. Yeah. 
in some markets, they have been testing something called it's AI powered shopping carts called caper carts. Ooh. And it's Instacarts that's doing this. Um, basically, one of the earliest features of caper carts was that it allowed shoppers to synchronize their grocery lists to the cart itself. So basically, you could have a grocery list, it was you know, synchronized to the cart. And then the cart then tells the shopper which aisle each item can be found in, gross, uh, crossing each uh, one off the list as they add to the cart. And the caper cart also lets you pay for your grocery haul using the touchscreen on the cart instead of having to stand in the checkout line. Okay. And so what they're doing now is they're adding features to it. So when you're checking out, you can now have a... Uh, like a, a, a spin, spin for a prize. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I like so, prizes. I know, right? So you can spin for a prize, and, and one of the prizes can be two draws, two draws off your total purchase. Okay, that's kind uh, of fun. So again, I'm not sure entirely what they're hoping to get out of it, but so yeah, so it, it, basically it's a discount for your next time you shop or something like that. So yeah, basically it's a grocery. The grocery games don't. Start, I you know. I kind of like it. Um, so I I'm very confused though. Why does Instacart have their own shopping cart? Like I don't understand. Is this like in an Aldi or something? I don't know. That this is part of the things I don't really understand. Okay, I mean it looks fun, but like where? Can, I mean, I'm not, am I going to be able to use it at Meyer? Like that's what my point is. Like what what grocery store is it in? Yeah, I can't read that. But must, they must like have a uh, like unless it's a the, relationship with certain stores. It says uh, it says vice president, general manager of Instacart's connected stores. So it must be like something uh, that they have. Unless it's the shoppers that's using this. No, that can't be it. It it well it does. I mean, because this is the because I when. I did not think this is when the shoppers are doing the shopping. It takes them to the right aisles. And no, that, it wouldn't be for that. It wouldn't be for that because why would it? Why would you care if there's two dollars fucking off for the customer? So, no, I know, but but it says it says that. Um, no, it's not for drivers. The card then tells the shopper which aisle each item can be found in. I mean, it would be good if that's the case, I mean, but I mean, it has. Yeah. What What are the What are the shop? I mean, well, you just use your app. It. it I will get, bet you one million dollars. It is not for drivers. It's for regular folk using going in the store. It's not for. It's not for drivers. When I say drivers, I don't want to say shoppers because it's going to confuse you. No, I know, but I mean, but why would I? Why? Why would I use? Why would I need Instacart if I just go shop in the store? Well, that's what 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 I mean. It's it's. I think it's a specific cart that they're trying to sell for different air for different grocery stores. You know what I mean? So like, you'd go to Meyer and it would have those instead. It wouldn't have the regular carts. You understand what I'm saying, or not? Like the actual shopping cart. Correct. It would be Instacart's whatever. Um. Oh. Yeah. So it wouldn't an be an actual real cart. A real cart. Oh, you didn't. Yeah, it's a real cart. You put stuff in it and stuff like that. Just like what? What? When I say you put stuff in it, it did it. Well, like Steve said, it reads every product you put in it. So why don't they just let you swipe your card, uh, and pay and skip the checkout line? Well, well yeah, that, it's like, that's what it would. That's uh, what it does. Oh well, I say yeah. that's like the Amazon store where you can um. Yep. Uh, just you don't even have to do anything. You just I see them at the airport. You can just grab your stuff and it charges your card. But yep. um, so it's yeah, it's the same as the as the as the new as those Amazon stores. I wish they were all like that. Well, Meyer has something where you can scan everything in the app, which I would never use because Meyer's app is terrible. And then you go to check out, and it randomly doesn't audit. And but if it doesn't right. audit you, you just walk right out with it. So I think that's pretty cool, but it is. Yes. Yeah. I have to reread this article about this Instacart thing. Um, I, I really think it is just for regular folk. So it, it must, you could even the picture now that I see it, it is actually an actual cart. Yeah. Oh, you didn't think it, you thought it was like a virtual cart. Yeah. I thought it was an app <laughs> on my phone. <laughs> and this is why he's leaving folks. There you go. No, I'm, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. I'm There's no more brain power left. They closed the Amazon store. I'm not sure about the airport. I mean, the last time I was in the airport was a year ago and they had it, but that doesn't mean anything. Okay, so this driver got attacked. Let's see, what do we got left? 
53. Nah, let's skip this one. That's stupid. Jesper, let's jump into the lift one, which I've been seeing a lot of these lately, and I don't know what it is. So, Tom, you were recently underpaid for 11 canceled rides. We've added a $110 adjustment to your account to correct this underpayment. Thanks for your patience. Pay- <laughs> Thanks for your patience as you fix this mistake. Please let our team know if you need help or have questions. So, first of all, so, 11 canceled rides, you get, they fucked them six ways from Sunday. That's I, a lot of money. I know. I mean, but, but $10 per canceled ride? Yeah, that's true. That's good. I mean, that's a lot of money for a cancel ride. It's a, a shit ton of money because list cancels are the worst. They're like two bucks now. But then why? I, mean, I, I don't know, but I've, I've been they seeing. They must have really fucked up. Yeah, I've been seeing a lot of like Reddit posts, and it's not that amount. It's just we screwed up. We screwed up. And I think a month ago, maybe in December before we went on break, there was another incident where they're like, here's $2, here's $3 or whatever. So I don't know what Lyft's doing. I mean, I guess I'm glad that they're honest. But like, if I got that money, I'd be like, I literally don't know what happened. You, clearly, you screwed me, but I don't know how you screwed me. <laughs> but you're right. $10 for each cancel seems a little excessive. I know. Well, you do the math. Well, I mean, yeah. Good job doing the math. <laughs> I mean, it's different market specific, of, of course, but... um. Yeah, I don't know. I guess I, I'm glad they're being honest about that, but like, Lyft, get your shit together. So, I really get, do get your shit together. Good God. So, the last thing we, uh, I'm going to play a video. We did talk about this, I think, either on the last show or the one before, uh, this same thing. And so, it's just a discussion of why this is still happening. But um, someone was walking to this couple's house again. And so, we'll watch that video. We are currently on the phone with Uber Eats right now. Just look at this. We have a guy walking 84 mile, 84 minutes away. He's walking 4.5 miles from Wingstop. Somehow, some way, Uber eats. Let this. And they're man. trying to tell me that they're <laughs> gonna find me if I cancel the order. I, I have the choice to let the guy walk. I ordered food an hour ago, by the way. I have the choice to let the guy walk 85 minutes, or I get fined. I'm. Is, well, you don't get crazy. fined. Why is he? Why are they letting him walk an hour and a half? Are you? Uh, if I go ahead and cancel the order, you will be charged. No. <laughs> uh, so, a couple of things with that video. One, why is this happening? What is? How is Uber allowing this to happen? Like, yes. why isn't their app going? This guy, it's going to take this guy 85 minutes to get here walking. The systems are screwed up. Yeah, it is. And I will tell you, and I've talked about this on the show. I, I think when I was in Florida, we talked about how I ordered Uber and it fucked up. And I had to chat with them for 45 minutes to get my money back. They eventually will, but you have to pester and pester oh, and yeah, like yeah. escalate, escalate. But yeah, they, they're not going to give you your money back. I don't understand that. I don't know why. Is it just because like they have to give money back to the, the restaurant too? And it's like I'm a whole sure. thing. But yeah, I don't understand how Uber is letting these people walk. I mean, we've seen the, the Photoshop thing that says Uber walk. You know what I mean? Like you can get uh, a walking buddy. That's what it was. Something like that. But you that really isn't an option. I, am I missing something? Is there an Uber walk option? Like, no, if I Google no. it, am I going to be like... It shouldn't be. I mean... It shouldn't be. Anywhere. I know. But Uber, it's like... I, I, I type Uber walk, and the, the first thing that came up is Uber walking, buddy. <laughs> Uber walking delivery. Let's see. Why are walking deliveries a thing? This is from Reddit. It's not. It's not? He was 200 miles away and he was, okay, that one's weird. I mean, maybe it's a, like someone said, he goes, I used to walk during COVID. It's really not a thing anymore unless in New York City because it's so short. Like, huh. Interesting. Well, anyways, it shouldn't be. <laughs> yes. It was like, anyways, I'm done. It shouldn't I'm, be. Yeah. It, 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 it shouldn't be an option, but. Um, but I mean, yeah, two hours, three hours. No, no it wouldn't be three hours. There 80, was, eight, well, that one, 85 minutes is not three hours. He had already worked. He had already, oh, he worked. already waited an hour. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I would die. I, I, why, why does this stuff ever happen to me? Cause I don't ever order Uber eats, but not anymore. all right, we're going to wrap it up. I've had a long day. Yep. 
And uh, I appreciate you guys. I appreciate uh, everybody that joined. Jamie, I'm so glad to see you commenting. I have missed you in the chat. I know you're probably crazy busy. Pete, thanks for joining. Of course, Larry, Mark. <laughs> I missed some of Mark's comments. Man, Jason is super hating on poor people tonight. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Uh, he made another com uh, comment earlier in the show, too. I got to find it because it was something about something about me peeing in a bottle well yeah i missed it you're gonna be alone with your pee bottle oh uh, he goes oh does th that mean jason's gonna fly solo with his gatorade bottle yeah yeah no yeah i'm gonna have to find i'm gonna have to put a video up is i'm sorry i'm going to pee jamie god's night <laughs> she meant good night jamie i miss you i miss you thank you chat uh jump in the sh uh chat and uh not this chat the telegram chat i'm yep. glad you're okay uh, Jasper, it's been a hell of a ride. And, it has uh, been a ride. You guys keep keep it up and, and keep having fun. All right. And as always, don't put up with anyone's bullshit. And see you guys on the road. <laughs> <laughs> no, we should have said, and I'll never see you on the road again. <laughs> Fuck off. Good night. <laughs> Bye-bye, guys. This podcast is produced and edited by Hey Guys Media Group. Want to start a podcast? Check out heyguysmediagroup.com.